Hey, we're at Brown County and Nashville, little Nashville, Indiana. Um, seen this Jeep here with a bunch of here with a bunch of uh, farm equipment mounted onto it, and I thought it was a very unique beast. And uh, I thought that we needed to talk to the person that owned it. And uh, what's your name? And I'm Barry Thomas. I, along with my son Evan, have. Mm -hmm. uh, website called farmjeep.com okay we've been doing this for about 20 years all righty mostly now uh, we are doing all the historical stuff with uh, all right. the farm jeep okay well you, he has a lot of data and he's brought copies of things that he's found on the internet he's did all the legwork for all the uh, all the different manuals and everything and it's, it's very very complete display so uh, let's talk about this Jeep you say it's a 1949 49 CJ 3A okay so that's got the what do they call it the uh, what the, they always had a cool name for the motors they didn't just call go it devil. go devil yeah there you go the go, go devil, devil <laughs> all right so um, from it's got a hydraulic pump right. down there, runs off the front of the engine. Right. Okay. It's standard generator on it. It's not like it uh, has a governor. All right. right. Has so, a, a monarch. Uh, so a that's variable speed governor. So this is this would be something that would be aftermarket, or was this a Jeep no. option, or this was uh, this was an option from the factory. All the, the, the what we refer to as the farm jeep equipment. Okay, that way you know whenever you're say working a hay baler and the PTO should be ran at 540 RPM, it will stay there whether it's loaded or empty. That's absolutely okay. right. And it works in it is a completely um, individual of the regular gas pedal. So what you did is you unhooked the, the gas pedal. Super cool idea though. Clean cage, which mm -hmm. was just a fall thing, a real quick fix. Yeah. Uh, and then the governor itself has, a, it, you saw the handle there, yeah. has notches in it, and each notch would be a right. couple hundred more RPM. Yeah, my, my Mac has a throttle on it, and has the, you yep. turn it, and then you turn it like this and push it in, so it's a, it's a, yeah. It's kind of like cruise control for it, but most of the time cruise Actually, control is pulled all the way out. That's right. <laughs> Actually, there are guys who, when they're on the road, use it as a cruise control. Oh, that's yeah. That's I can see that. Right. So, all right. So, we're going to move back in here. So, all right. You can't have a Jeep unless the uh, floorboard looks like a farm tractor with all the sticks coming out of it. I mean, that's, yes, that, that, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a true Jeep right there. And so we got, you know, this is the transmission, I assume. And then this right. here would be the high-low and the four-wheel drive for the transfer right. case. PTO. PTO. And then the one Oh, we got another one. Oh. Is, is the, all right. So that's a three-point hitch. Oh, so that's a so, hydraulic lever. Right. All right. So then this, of course, is the brake. Yeah, for the oh, parking yeah. and everything right. else is pretty well standard Jeep affair. Pretty, so. pretty well standard. Right. Okay, so and you were asking earlier the you could get the this equipment from the uh, dealer. You could get it from the factory. You could order it from the factory. Mm -hmm. Have a dealer installed, or the farmer could install it themselves. Mm -hmm. All this is bolt on. All know, right. You're not cutting anything. The only change I've had to make is I did have to cut a slot for the uh, for the rear uh, hydraulic lip, the hydraulic lip. Oh well, I mean that's that's to be expected, you know. The PTO, if you yeah. got a Jeep without it, there is a plate that's I see that's set there that. So if it, it just had a, you knocked it out and you put that one in there. Huh? The, the PTO runs off the end of the transmission and it had a little cap on the end of it. Right, because the drive shafts aren't in line like normal, Correct. like a regular car is today. Right. They the rear end on this one actually the rear end is offset 
to Correct. the passenger side, right. just like the front is on a four-wheel drive today. Right, so, so if you're coming off the okay. transfer case. All right. So this is pretty well standard affair for any kind of Jeep of this age, is those right. kind of tires. I don't right. know how well they this performed, one, but... <laughs> well, interestingly, this is 15-inch wheels with, mm -hmm. with the NTD non-directional tires on them. Yeah. That was what they used when they took the uh, took the Jeep to the Nebraska tractor test. Okay. And so um, normally you could get 16 inch. That was the standard. But mm -hmm. for the for the farm Jeep, they went to a 15 inch to and get a little more flotation. Okay. So more traction. So they're not really any wider than the 16s. They're just shorter. You could get them wider, but yeah, they're yeah, basically okay. just shorter. All right. Yeah. All right. So, so we're going to get back here to where this this is this is the business end of a farm jeep on uh, the back. Right. So, this, so you got the drive shaft, which right. is just basically a drive shaft. I think it has a, what a disconnect up there by the trans on and the back yeah, of the transfer yeah, case. Yeah, it's just got two U joints. You know, yeah. either end of the drive shaft. I'll try to get. I'll try to. Wedge myself underneath there and take a picture of the dry rear end and stuff and try to, you know, edit it I in. Have, I have some, <laughs> some stuff that uh, Sh shows maybe we it can up. take a picture of it. Yeah. Well, um, that's why I brought my kids along. I stick them underneath. Oh, there. yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're a little more agile than I okay. am. <laughs> yeah, one of the, the fun facts uh, that they used in advertising was because you're coming off of the transmission, mm -hmm. you got three forwards and a reverse. So if you uh -huh. get your postal digger stuck, you, you can trade a reverse. And you unscrew it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah you know. both in, in film and in uh, printed literature, they yeah. advertise. That. Kind of a. Uh, there, there were a couple of other tractors, I think, that did have reversing PTOs yeah. on them, but, but this was sort of unique. Yeah. All right, so this here, you know, today, three point hitch, that's right. what we would call it, right. is, you know, Ford, you know, Ferguson had this system. Right. It, not and quite the same. Is well, the Ford Ferguson system because it doesn't have the 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 eyes that are. This later, is basically links. Later, the, the Monroe version that came out after mm -hmm. this. And, well, I'll give you some pictures of that too. Did have the swivel joint. Okay. Yeah. Um, but what this had, even though if you notice this plow has a short mass. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. one of the things they did was to lower the top link. Right. So you could still use the tailgate. All right. Yeah. Well, that and you know that's something you wouldn't think about. Right. Yeah. In '48. As I was saying, the Royal right. Auto, which is the shock absorber people, they put their lift in the back, mm -hmm. and so they went to a standard mass. But this will work mm -hmm. with any Ford Ferguson import. Okay. And the reason that is so is because mm -hmm. uh, in 1943, Henry Ford fired his right hand man of 40 years. Charles Sorensen. Yeah. Charles Sorensen left, retired for a year. The chairman of the board of Willys sent him a prototype Jeep. Yeah. At least this is his story. <laughs> and he used it on the farm, the same farm where he uh -huh. had tested the 9N. Yeah. And after a month, he said, okay, I'll become president. Okay. The first thing that he did was to take over the civilian jeep, brought in engineers, and had them develop a three-point system. Okay. Now, so the, you know, both Ford and Ferguson uh, held on tight to that patent until oh, the yeah. 1960s. Right. And so, uh, so there did, was never a, a patent suit filed against Willys or any of the makers of these of these and I'm was it confident because had gentlemen's agreement with no or I think it was because he knew how to get around the patent infringement. Ah yeah. If you if you read the patents it, it talks about these are for a a uh, a passenger vehicle or yeah. a 
something. Okay, it's not a tractor. It's, it's a okay, tractor. all right. Okay. So slick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the interesting thing is uh, this under the under the bed design right. only lasted a couple of years before Monroe, who had developed their hydraulic expertise a lot of obviously from the shocks, but from a lot of things they'd done in World War II. Oh, they yeah. were making they probably made a, doors. They made a lot more than shock absorbers. Monroe, oh, yeah. I mean, they, oh, they, yeah. yeah, they they were the hydraulic people right. at one time. Right. So. so they also happen to have a couple of people on the board of directors mm -hmm. of Willies, and they came in one day and said, we'd like to have a, a three-point hitch. <laughs> so yeah. that happened. So, so, um, so they made nice, huh? <laughs> they made nice. Yeah. Fast forward, as I said, there's a lot of history. Uh, mm -hmm. But they made the three-point hitch up until about 1956. We don't have production records or anything. Mm -hmm. Along in 1960, another company called Stranton um, Equipment Company out of Cleveland came out with another hitch that went back underneath the bed. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so. I'm pretty confident based on research that that design was done by Robert Green, who named part of this new Green, Green um, George Newland and Robert <laughs> Green. But Robert Green, who we were talking about earlier, yeah. who was the plow guy, was yeah. also a hydraulic guy. So, yeah, this guy is the Jeep farm master. He knows everything. He knows the names. He knows the dates. He knows it all. So you need to get on his website if you're into this because it is very fascinating. I have been on this website before. I didn't realize it was your website. I just, uh, you know, I got my CJ5 and I got into the Jeep thing when I did the complete teardown and restore of the Jeep when I did it. And and I started getting, you know, hey, how the internet is, it's like rabbit holes. You know, you go down oh, in the yeah. rabbit hole and you, yeah. you, ne you don't come back for a long time. Now, we talked in depth earlier with him about the plow. And we'll just touch on that. Um, he says it's a, it's made by New Green, or not New Grin, actually. New Grin. And it's New a, Green, New Grin. Yeah. And uh, there, there, once again, there's another story everything about these things there's a story and it's just awesome about how the how this all comes together and how the corporate all works together and you know i don't know if it's this way on everything but it seems like jeep always has a very rich history of corporate shenanigans and stuff like that going with you know ford and willie's overland and then you had you know bantam in there and you know the whole the whole bunch together and they all you know and then you get the military thrown in there and the government and the it was like everybody wanted the jeep but then nobody wanted the jeep it was a very very interesting um now i think it's gone back the other way everybody. well I'm, I'm like i said um that's the thing about jeep you know they their their popularity right now is like this what's it going to be in 10 years who knows you know but uh, the, these here, they're, they're always be, everybody will love these things because yeah. you look at this, that's a Jeep. My boys. Where's your ducks? Huh? Where's your ducks at? Uh, my CJ5, they, nobody likes it, I guess, because I got one duck. one duck. I only got one duck with the, my CJ5. You know the duck thing, right? Oh, I yeah. do know. Oh, you can, everybody, I was like, what? Somebody, some kid's been in my Jeep because I didn't have the doors on it when I went to go eat pizza one night with my family. We come out there and there's a duck sitting on the seat. And I'm like, yeah. what in the world is this? So I had to get on the line That's and cool. look it up and That's see what it was all about. Yeah. And they liked my Jeep, so I, I wasn't so offended then. I was like, some kid's been in my Jeep and left their toy. <laughs> but, around, around Brian. It's got Dixie, the frame dog. I don't know if you've ever seen her or heard of her. No. He's got a real... real <laughs> He said, Look it up online. He said, I get okay. that by the cases. People oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what year is got, this? 49. 49. 49. 49. You were born, so it's 74 years old. 
So we got this uh, um, belt pulley. Does it just go right on the end of the? Uh, yeah. It, okay. It so it's got. The, you can see the. Yeah. Bolt you can see the boss there, yeah, and then you bolt it on there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, what? Isn't that similar to an eight in Ford? Isn't that how they get a belt yep. pulley on those? Yeah. Okay. Most people yeah. think that's where it's from, but it. it it's no, a, it's it's, it's not the same thing. Works. You can tell. They, but, this one is very old. This is probably from '45. So because, it's one of the first ones, huh? It's one of the first ones because they were having some interference problems. Yeah. The guys wanted to leave them on, so they went to a smaller steel. Okay. Uh, yeah. Drum. Huh. And so. And, that there looks like new old that's, stock. <laughs> it is new old stock. If they're like hen's teeth, that's the shield for the. Yeah. Well, you know, so this that's is yours. the. Yeah. Okay, I'll it. yeah, we're we're doing a little video for the YouTube. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, you know what farmers do with you know guards and stuff is they take them off and hang them in the barn. And, you know, it's like the well, radiator shutters for anything. They even got stopped up first time you did, you know, corn picking. And, the, you know, they got wired up and stuck. And they don't throw them away. They're always hanging on the shed somewhere. <laughs> I had a G on there. And the radiator, or the shutters I've got for it are still hanging up in the barn. Yeah. I don't have a G anymore. <laughs> so I had oh, a right. question, actually. One time, a guy wrote in and says, okay, what's this slot for? Well, that's that, for the guard. Yes, no, it's, yeah, whole, it's well, for the PTO us, guard. Some of us didn't, yeah. didn't know that. I did a I I did a thing on about them. I did got a, I got a couple of them. They're like brand new. Uh -oh, they were hanging on the shield shed roof or whatever when the shed fell down. I've got one in the barn, one sitting on old drag. <laughs> He's going to start okay. this. All right. Um, well, all right. Now, thanks for helping me sure. out here. I hope it wasn't too awful. Oh, it was great. Yeah, all right, yeah. Thank so, for and thanks by. for stopping in. And you're on, you're on the World Wide Web now. Whether you like it or not, you walked right into it. That's just where I want to be. Well, yeah. it's all right. I'm, I'm tiny in the world. I'm like plankton in the sea of YouTube. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Maybe somebody, somebody's looking for you. They might find you. All right. Talk to you guys later.